Hey guys, here is lesson 11.6. Today we're looking at unit cubes and solid figures. Our essential question today is what is a unit cube and how can you use it to build a solid figure? So we're gonna put a star next to our essential question. Um, before we get started, you're going to need this paper right here and you're also going to need your homework packet. So you're gonna turn to 11.6 on your homework packet and just have that handy because we're gonna do a couple of these and some of these you're actually gonna do on your lesson check for today. So just have that handy close by. Um, it says you can build rectangular prisms using unit cubes. How many different rectangular prisms can you build with the given number of unit cubes? So what they did for this one is they had the centimeter cubes, which looks like this. So it's one unit cube wide, one unit cube tall, and one unit cube deep. So length, width, and height are all one unit cube. This area right here is going to be the face. And then this area or this little spot right here, that is the edge. So you have your face and you have an edge. So one unit cube, a unit cube, excuse me, is a cube that has a length, width, and height that is one unit. A cube has how many square faces? So it'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six square faces. All of it all of its faces are congruent. That means all of them are the same. It has how many edges? So remember, if we go over here to the edges, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it would have 12 edges. All right, so what they wanted to do, obviously we can't do this because we don't have the materials, is to build a rectangular prism using two unit cubes. So how many faces do the rectangular prism have? And we already said it has six faces. How many edges does the rectangular prism have? It would still have 12 edges. So this one says build a different rectangular prisms with as many as you can with eight unit cubes. Um, so basically your dimensions of that, uh, we're actually, you know what, we're going to skip all this. We don't need that. As long as you get this up here, there's six faces, there's 12 edges. We're going to just move ahead. So let's go down here to the bottom where it says make connections. Like I said, we're a little bit all over the place because I'm trying to give you the information that you need that I know you're going to actually need. You can build other solid figures and compare the solid figures by counting the number of unit cubes. So with this one, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. So this figure is made up of six unit cubes. And let's look at this one. This one's made up of one, two, three, four, five. This one's made up of five unit cubes. So figure blank has more unit cubes than figure blank. Which one has more unit cubes? We would say figure one has more unit cubes than figure two. And again, since we don't have this, we're not gonna be able to do the cubes, we're not gonna be able to do this. But as long as you get this and you're able to count that they're unit cubes, um, I feel like you'll be fine. All right, so let's do a couple of these together. Um, this one says count the unit cubes used to build each solid figure. So the rectangular prism is made up of how many unit cubes? So let's look at this rectangular prism. It's made up of one, two, three unit cubes. So we would say three unit cubes because we're actually counting the cubes itself, not the faces, not the edges, just the cubes. If you look at this one, let's keep going. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 15 unit cubes. Now, what could I have done instead of counting each and every one of them? I could have looked and saw that there were three rows. There's the same amount in each row. So I have three rows of one, two, three, four, five. So three times five, which would give me 15 unit cubes. Now you're not gonna always be able to do that. So like this, you're not gonna be able to do that because they're not even rows. Um, but sometimes you'll be able to. So like this one, there's one, two, three rows. There's an even amount in each row, so I have one, three times one, two, three, four. I know that three times four is going to give me 12. 
So there would be 12 unit cubes in that prism. All right, so let's look at this next one. This one, it's doubled up. So we know that they're stacked on top of each other. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And if there's two rows of all that, so we have six times two sections, it was going to give us 12. So we would have 12 unit cubes. So now what I want you to do is I want you to do five through seven on your own. Go ahead and do that so that you can check your work, pause the video, and then check. Hopefully you said five was five, six was six, and seven was seven. If you did, yay you. All right. Um, so now let's look at nine and 10 at the bottom. This one says compare the number of unit cubes in each figure, use less than, greater than, or equal to. So let's go ahead and do that. We have one, two, three, four, five right here. And we have one, two, three, four, five over here. So five unit cubes and five unit cubes are equal. Pretty easy, that one. All right, let's look at this next one. We have one, two, three, four. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have four unit cubes over here five unit cubes over here. So how would we compare them? We know that four is less than five. So that would be our answer. All right. So we did all of the ones on the lesson together. That's why I wanted you to pull out your homework. Okay, so this is actually what you're going to be doing for homework. Okay, so we're going to do two. This is actually your lesson check. Three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So do nine and ten at the bottom. And then flip to the back of that page. And you're going to do one and two at the top. One and two. Okay. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Hopefully, I did not go too quickly through that. I felt like we've covered that enough in the math moves that we didn't really have to spend a whole lot of time working on that. Um, but if you do have questions, please, please, please ask me, even if it is a silly question. There's no such thing as silly questions. Ask me so that I can help you, okay? Good luck. Have fun. Ask me if you need help. Bye.